I'm Rosie Jackson and this is the book Two Girls and a Beehive which Graham Birchall and I worked on together for a couple of years. It tells the story of Stanley Spencer, the English visionary artist. It takes you through the trajectory of his life and his work. There's many ekphrastic poems in there looking at specific paintings. It takes you through his involvement with the First World War and his relationship with his first wife Hilda Carline who was also an excellent artist in her own right. Their relationship became complicated when Spencer was involved with Patricia Preece. Um, he left Hilda for Patricia and the poems explore the entanglement of that relationship and its subsequent effects. Um, Spencer was very interested in the idea of resurrection. He didn't think of life as a finite thing. And this poem that I'm going to read comes towards the end of the book and it's thinking of Spencer after he's died in the afterlife. He's looking back at his life, the value of his work, his achievements and his um, relationships that haven't worked. He remained uh, totally in love with Hilda to the end of his life. In fact, he very much regretted his involvement with Patricia. And he wrote letters to Hilda. Even after Hilda's death in 1950, he was writing letters to her until his own death in 1959. So this poem thinks of him reflecting on the complicated nature of his love and life. When I think of him in the afterlife. When I think of him in the afterlife, he's pushing his pram of paints in the empty streets above Cookham and a flurry of snow is starting to fall. He's here to take stock to weigh the worth of his work against a life clumsy in love. But he grows impatient with all the whiteness, so much less glorious than the resurrections he's imagined with their fat beatitudes. And where's Hilda? Waiting, surely, wanting to wrap him in her forgiveness. But no, no matter how deep in the blizzard he goes, he doesn't find her. And so he turns his back on this cold heaven to race after her, whoever she is now, woman or man, that they might meet again in the world where his unlove began. See it undone.